the channel i literally was not even expecting to film this haul because we were kind of trying to just get in and out of there when we got it but it literally is so good that i can't not show you guys and this is our first thrift haul on our new vlogging camera so i figured it'd be an extra good one to show you guys um, because i just know the colors and all the words and everything are gonna look so much freaking better in this video so hope you enjoy and first things first i just want to mention that most of these items that we are going to show you today I will be selling there's a couple that I am going to keep but the majority of where I sell lately is whatnot if you don't know what whatnot is yet it's a live selling platform that kind of functions like an auction so lately whatnot has really kind of been taken over my life honestly it has far exceeded now what I used to make from Depop and it's really addicting I recently just hit a thousand sales on there so I now qualify for early payouts which means I get paid the same day that I print the labels so needless to say I'm kind of neglecting a lot of my other selling platforms because of this and it's also just so fun to hang out with you guys live on there so most of this stuff by the time you're watching this video will unfortunately probably be sold unless you're already on whatnot so if you want to join there is a link in the description of this video where you can actually get $15 off your first purchase. I start almost every item at less than that, so there's a really good chance of getting something for either super cheap or free every time I do a show. You seriously are just kind of missing out if you're not on there because I, I be selling pretty much strictly on there lately, um, and everybody gets first look at everything on there too. So for example, tonight I'm showing all of this stuff for the first time on Whatnot, and this video is coming out after. So you may as well just get on there, get a free item, shop a little bit. It's a lot of fun. And then without further ado, I don't even know where to begin because this haul is literally so freaking good. So I'm just gonna grab from this terrifying pile next to me and we're just gonna ooh and awe at it all. So this is fun. Um, these are leg warmers, which actually Nico found one of them. And then I found the other one. So, and it didn't even take that long, but look how cute these little like pom pom -y tassel things are. These are some of the fluffiest leg warmers I've like ever seen. And these will be available tonight as well. They're so freaking cute. I love a good leg warmer and I feel like the fluffier the better. So as much as I want to keep these, I will be parting with them because somebody else needs them more than I do. I already have a bunch. So that is a excellent first item. I didn't get quite as much as she did, but got some cool stuff nonetheless. I have a much more diverse clientele. You know what? I'll start with this one because it's, um, I don't know, one of my more favorite ones from that haul. It's pretty dope. Four Loco, baby! Whoop, whoop! A 3XL Four Loco T. How could you go wrong? This will be on Depop, I'm sure. What this will go for, I don't know, but I'm gonna try for 20-something dollars. See how that goes. Okay, everybody was super like obsessed when I showed this hat on a recent TikTok I made and on Instagram. This is a super cute little mall goth cap with a blinged out Florida de Lee. And this is the brand on that one. I've never heard of this, but as you can see, it is definitely like mid 2000s, not like some, you know, Shein or something. So super exciting. Um, I love this one. That will also be available tonight. And I know that it's gonna go to a great home. I found this like Dragon Ball Z hoodie, their collab with Primitive. I think usually this is pretty exclusively through Zoomies. Forget this guy's name, like Lord Beerus or something like that. Really cool embroidery, honestly. And it is missing like the pull string, but who cares? Who really uses the pull strings, honestly? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing a size. It doesn't really matter. I do like like the eyelets or two different colors. It's pretty sick as well. Yeah, I'm honestly not even going to probably mention the size on almost any of this stuff because it's going to be sold by the time yeah. you guys see this. So hey. get on whatnot. My stuff will probably be available. Get on there. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the few items that I'm definitely going to keep for a while. Um, when I found these, I literally said to Nico, we can go home now. <laughs> 
They are Paul Frank earmuffs. They're so cute. Those are cute. I I honestly like how they look over my hat. This yeah, is I think how. It looks good like that. Yeah, this is how I was wearing them at the bins because I loved them so much that I didn't want the like chance for anyone to like somehow take them out of my car. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, these need to be on body. Oh I love God. them so much. And I was so excited when I found these. I even just started talking to the person next to me about them because I couldn't control myself. These are from 2010. Whoops, 2010. And Paul Frank for Target. Just precious as hell. Um, winter is still very much in full effect here in Minneapolis, so I will be wearing these and then maybe I'll sell them eventually, but you might have to pry them out of my cold dead hands. I love them that much. I feel like one of the only vintage things I found is this Speedo t-shirt. <laughs> Speedo volleyball. I just really like the colors. Single stitch kind of all around. Just look at that. Very pretty. So, you know, someone will want this. And it is on the Speedo tag. So how much cooler can that be? Very 90s colors and graphic. Okay, everyone was also ooh and aahing over this freaking bag. Yes, all of this stuff came from the same haul, you guys. I'm not even joking. Like, this is real deal. I got it all the same day. It's kind of insane. This bag is actually already sold because one of my whatnot regulars hit me up on Instagram and mentioned that she wanted it. And I gave her the option of either, either Venmoing me um, right then or to pick it up at, on whatnot the next day. And you know, at that point we risk it selling for higher than what I started at. So she did decide to Venmo me. And so this one is going to Chloe and thank you, Chloe. I really appreciate you. This is a great bag. I sold it to her for $30. And that's a great price too, because like if I was gonna list this on Depop, I would easily ask for 50 or more. Yeah. So that's what's also great about Whatnot is it's just so user friendly for resellers. Like it saves you so much time. You don't have to like take pictures and like background erase and wait around to get the right price. You can just get it out of there like the same day, literally. It's so freaking nice. So I'm more than happy with letting things go for a cheaper price on there. And I'm just gonna throw this into her bundle when she buys more items tonight. So. Super cool. When I was going around looking for stuff, uh, somebody just put this on my shoulder. I think it was uh, Jake. I really am not sure, honestly, because I didn't even look. But it is this Green Day shirt, kind of like graffiti style on the front with the paint coming down, got the three faces. Definitely not vintage. Um, I really have no idea what era this is from, but it is on the Bay Island tag. Size XL, so that will either go on my Depop or also whatnot because people are always asking for graphic tees and yeah. we'll see. Okay, I absolutely love this one. This is a cute little self-esteem zip up hoodie. And this one is definitely giving Scene Kid vibe. It's got these really cute cloud and rainbow print all over it. And just even the shape of it is just very of that era um, with these pockets with the little buttons and stuff like that. So this is probably one of my favorite items and this one would be great for Depop, but I am going to let everybody have first dibs on it tonight if anyone wants it. It's a size small and it is freaking adorable. Another Green Day shirt. <laughs> this one, it, this one's pretty cool, honestly. I don't know. I don't remember when this album, actually it says right on the back, 2017. I say don't remember when this album album came out but there we go tortillas got all the dates never saw green day would have been dope hmm. now i have the tea i got a couple really cool belts um so here are two of them but i do have more um one of the bin homies actually put this on top of my cart towards the end when he was about to leave and i'm so glad he did because it's freaking amazing it's from what I can tell, in pretty good shape too, which is hard to believe because usually when I find these at the bins, they are thrashed. But this is a very on-trend item. Fleur de Lis, super blinged out belt. It's giving like mall goth cowgirl. It's iconic. So this will also be available tonight. And this one is pretty cool and like unique. It does have some creasing in it, but it's a very thick, like heavy duty belt with some like pyramid studs and stuff. Um, this one would be really cool with a dress. And I, I don't know if it'll fit me, but like if it did, I would probably keep this one too. Oh, it's a 2XL. So yeah, there's no way this will fit me, but really cool on somebody else. Like to make like a dress a little more like flattering in the middle. This is, oh my God, this is perfect. <laughs> Another band tee, just this kind of clean Avenged Sevenfold with their logo on it, the bat and the skull. This is from 2017 and yeah, either Depop or whatnot, it would sell on either of them. Okay, so the same person that donated those belts, well, the 2XL one, 
it was also next to these scarves. I pretty much can guarantee you it was from the same person because I got that cross bag also in that same region. Well, actually the thing with the cross bag is somebody else got it originally, but it was next to this stuff and I was really jealous and I told them I liked it and they ended up giving it to me. So love that for me. Never hesitate to tell somebody at the bins that you like what they have in their hand because half the time they don't actually want it. So just so you know, but this skull scarf was in that same group of stuff and this one is super long and thick and like gauzy and cool you could use this so many different ways like you could use it as like a headscarf or like around a bag as a tablecloth the options are endless so this one will also be available and I am so excited about it another one that I think is vintage that I found which there's no date on it is this really thrashed Vikings one it's kind of got the arm sleeves cut off it's got a bunch of holes in it very thin very faded honestly I was gonna pass this off to somebody else but then everybody else left and there wasn't a chance <laughs> So this is either gonna be whatnot so I can show off the flaws or maybe even yard sale when the time comes to it I mean, I could put this on Depop or something, but honestly, it just scares me to do that with all the holes and rips and everything But really cool shirt anyways. Here's another gem for you guys. This is again from the same person. It's one of these um, Skull little like crossbody bags these they sell sometimes at like state fairs and stuff like that So I can pretty much guarantee you that's where this came from originally it is in excellent condition and every time I've found like a, a real like handbag purse with this skull on it I've sold it for like $50 so this one I will be putting on whatnot again first and I'm sure it's gonna sell so get on it another Vikings piece pretty sure she found this one and put it on my cart but it is this Vikings peeing on the Packers <laughs> why not you know I didn't even look at this Oh yeah, he's taking a whiz. That's so funny. Taking a whiz on the whole state of Wisconsin. I actually, this t-shirt was with <laughs> one of the other Mogoth ones I found. Like oh, it, yeah. it was like folded in a stack. So I grabbed the whole stack and I saw that this one looked kind of vintage. Oh nice, this one is actually vintage. It's yeah. uh, the single stitch and it's on this Fruit of the Loom tag, which is like a lot of guys' favorite vintage like shirt blank. So That's literally the only reason Hell I like, yeah. threw that to you because I just already had it. Like... Oh, look, this one's dope. <laughs> it reminds me of when I was young, my dad, would have some stuff like that like Vikings on the Packers or like yeah. Ford peeing on Chevy or something so <laughs> Pretty cool, nostalgic. All right, this is pretty crazy too that I found both of these pairs of gloves. Um, it did take me a long time to find the pair to this one, but the only reason I didn't give up is because this one had the retail price on it and it looks like these retailed for $98. So I was like, well, maybe it's worth finding the other one. And I dug and I dug and I dug and I did finally find it. So I'm happy I did. Um, I'm probably gonna end up selling these like literally so cheap, but it's one of those things where I just don't want it to end up in the landfill. Cause like, that would be sad. And also, I don't know if everybody knows this, but like I've looked it up before, the like trail of like what happens from the Goodwill outlet, it isn't straight to the landfill after that. It's actually after the Goodwill outlet, if it doesn't sell there, they sell it in pallets in like an auction kind of format. And then whatever doesn't sell from like that stuff, it goes to like textile like refurbishing. So like what they like fill couches with or like chairs and stuff like that. Um, and then some of it, then they do ship overseas, which is like its own set of issues. <laughs> so yeah. then some of that stuff, like what's left over from all that, that goes to the landfill. So the more you know. I also found these, which these have a like really cute little like poof on them. So um, I was like, I better grab those. I'm sure somebody will want them. They look kind of small, but that also might just because my nails are so long that I know my hand wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> but um, I thought they were cute. They're really posh and probably a good material. I don't know. It's hard to tell if these are leather or not, but yeah. they, they seem sturdy. That's Nico's bag of toys. Jeez. Toy time with so Nico. So this bag here. <laughs> <laughs> was just filled with stuff that I dumped all of it out. <laughs> But this is really cool, actually. It's from 1978, Ruben H. Don Huelli, or I don't know, something crazy like that. I looked it up and I think it was like a dis department store at the time, but this was a tote bag, very 70s. So I was excited about that. It's dirty, but it's a cool little rucksack. This is one of the first things I found and it was in an old bin that nobody gave a shit about. And it's this really cute animal print hat and it's actually from Mud. So it's kind of older. That's Look cool. at this old mud tag on this hat. Unexpected. I know, right? Like you would not think that. Like 
it's pretty crazy. I love the colors on this too. Like I'm not usually a big purple fan, but the like overpowering of the black is really kind of doing it for yeah. me. So I don't know. This is just like one of the cutest trapper hats I think I've ever found. I was really excited when I found this. Since I emptied out my bag of toys, I might as well <laughs> show you. time with Nico. <laughs> yeah, if you've been in the whatnot shows, you'll know uh, last time we had toy time with Nico. So... <laughs> Here's Snivel. He's one of the starter Pokemon, and I can't even remember which generation. He's really sick, actually. I think this is the one I started with on that game. And then, God, I don't even remember the name of this one, honestly. He looked like a Duncy clown to me, so I did not pick him. Uh, tell me in the comments below. I'm not even going to look it up until you tell me, so <laughs> hey. Okay, here's a couple more fun accessories. Um, this bag Nico found, and it's not my cup of tea, but it's Betsy Johnson. So it will be someone's cup of tea, I'm sure. There's just something about this face that I'm just kind of like not for me but it does have a really cool lining inside of it and it's in good shape overall yeah. so yeah that'll definitely be going to a good home i'll sell it like i'll start it cheap you know and then let the people decide what it's worth i did like bringing it over i brought it over and she's like what is this i know i was like <laughs> eh. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the face on home movies like yeah totally the mom yeah looks like that. i also found another pair of earmuffs and these ones are pink Ooh, those are cute I'm a fan. I don't usually look that good in earmuffs, so like it's kind of rare. I don't know. Maybe it's just the hat helps. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of giving like Fruits Magazine, which we just actually got a bunch at a flea market and they're giving me like hella style inspo. So yeah, lots of options. Next, I'll show these off. They are just some Adidas track pants. Kind of like tapered at the bottom, has the zipper. It's kind of nice that it has the zipper. I might keep these for summer. Otherwise, I'll bring them to Buffalo Exchange. I'm sure that Buffalo will take them if they're not looking stained. But yeah, it looks like uh, maybe somebody's cat kind of was sitting on their lap and <laughs> scratching them up a little bit. But yeah, just a nice basic to grab. All right, this is a belt that I um, think you found for me, maybe? This brown one? Yeah. This one is another like really cool kind of mall gothy cowgirl vibes belt. And this one is also in pretty good shape. So that's super exciting. And I believe Nika also found these for me. Oh yeah. So it was a Paul Frank kind of day. These are Paul Frank slipper socks and they're actually in pretty good shape. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm grabbing those. Hell yeah. Can't go wrong. I found this cocktail book. It's like rock and roll cocktails, pretty fly for a Mai Tai. <laughs> it's just got a lot of like cool random names of songs. Then they'll do like a little write up about it. Like if y'all can read this, I know that the, the soft box lights are kind of drowning it out, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of crazy ones. And I don't know. I'll try to make some of these. I mean, Rebel Red Bull for Rebel Rebel, Rebel David Bowie. It's basically just a vodka Red Bull. So Ooh, how fun is that? Queen. Exactly. Tequila Queen for Killer Queen. And yeah, I mean, honestly, that drink sounds pretty good. So why the hell not pick it up? Should show this to all the local bars so they can name things more creatively. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so if you know me, you know that I used to be super obsessed with Neopets when I was in seventh grade. And I used to collect all kinds of Neopet merchandise. So I was really excited when I found all of these little guys. Oh God, I can't believe how many there are. I know. I found so many. Here's some of them. And some of them are in like, you know, slightly loved on condition. <laughs> like they look a little rough. But um, these I think, yeah, these were at McDonald's in 2005. They're actually dated. Wow. So these, I actually used to have a bunch of them. And then of course, like when I was out of my Neopets phase, I literally, I'm sure just donated them all or whatever. Sold them at a yard sale. You name it. They're gone. So I was really excited to find these because just nostalgic for me. And I think a lot of people are actually kind of feeling that Neopet nostalgia. So I was like, this would be a really fun thing to do when I do like giveaways on whatnot and stuff like I could maybe you know throw a couple in here and there keep the love going maybe like one this week one the next week just so everybody kind of gets a chance to maybe get one um I do a giveaway every single show and sometimes two so another perk of whatnot don't forget to sign up link below in the description free money free money one of the first things I found is this Honda hoodie it's got the big Honda on the back it's kind of like an interesting I don't know canvasy kind of cotton material kind of like almost a deacon constructed look on the sleeve here if you can see that and it's got the little Honda logo on the pocket so yeah I thought that was just a clean pickup I mean who doesn't like a cool like vintage Honda motorcycle she's licking my thigh Ooh, yuck <laughs> this 
I mostly got because I wanted to carry some of my stuff out in it, but I also got it because it's new with tags and it retailed $50. Um, it's a Martha Stewart Collection straw tote. Ooh. And you can see right here on the tag, it says perfect for the beach. So there you have it. This I'll probably eventually put in a yard sale and I'll put a $5 sticker on it get it out of here. <laughs> but I used it to carry some of my stuff to the trunk and I think that was a good investment. Got another hoodie, some anime. I have no idea, I've never seen this anime or heard of it, but it looked cool enough so I grabbed it. It looked like good enough shape. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Here's the front graphic. I looked it up and I think they sell these at, I think it was Zoomies. It's either Zoomies or Paxum, but it looks like a Zoomies kind of thing. It's got this little sleeve hit. Like I said, good condition. So this will go up on Depop. It is a size medium. Be on the lookout. Shop my shop. Okay, I got a couple pairs of shoes and boots that are very cute. One of them I'll actually be keeping for a while, but I did find these that I will be selling, and these are in super good condition. Brand is Denver Haze, which I can't say I've ever heard of, but there it is. And these are just like the perfect like 2000s like brat boot, I feel. They could only be better if they had a bigger platform. Other than that, look how cute. Like the details are iconic. So super glad I found these and I found both of them. I got this little poodle. Fifi. Look how pretty she is. From Japan. And just like really cool textures on it. I don't know. Look at her little blush. Why not grab this? This will be on display on my desk over there for a while. And then probably either on whatnot or yard sale. So why the hell not? Pretty cool. Here's another bag that I got. This was from the same person as the other bags. This one is covered in studs. It is like a metallic gray. And I just love all this bling. This is from Charming Charlie, which that's kind of like a boutique. We actually have one kind of by where I grew up. I don't know where else they have them or if they're just everywhere, but that's the only one I've heard of is the one in Alexandria, Minnesota, I'm pretty sure is where it is. So yeah, super cool. Cute purse, great find. All right, this is really random, but I thought I'd pick these up. It's just a bunch of like blank cards. I thought I could either use them as like thank you note kind of cards or, you know, send them off to the parents. There's like kind of just a bunch of nature ones and stuff like that. There's some like America ones and I don't know. Why not? Thank you notes, stuff like that. All came with envelopes. We could use those anyways, even if we don't use the cards. Any <laughs> so, envelopes. you know, sometimes when you're at the bins, you got to pick up stuff that you need in your life. Save you some money. Pro tip. Okay, this is the pair of shoes that I will be probably keeping and wearing for a while. Am I wrong in thinking these are giving like major diesel vibes? These are like crazy. They're so like apocalyptic and like dystopia core vibes. Like the colorway and just like the details are just like crazy. The only problem with these and what kind of sucks is that the lining on the like bottom is like really bad like it's like ripped out or gone and there's like a little bit of like staining on them but i mean i don't really care for personal use yeah. and the brand on these is star um so i'm gonna have to look that up because actually i have a pair of pants in this pile that also say star is the brand so i'm like are they the, from the same thing they could be they look like they're from the same era but i love all the like velcro straps and these like really strange details that you really don't see like hardly ever my dream item right now that like i would kill to have like literally kill to have is the adidas missy elliott high top boxing shoes. Um, I would die for those. And everybody that's selling them right now is selling them for two or $300 or more. So I'm just gonna wear these and try to manifest those. <laughs> I don't think I have any more clothing left. I have a few more weird items. So let's just show this guy off. He is a little pachyderm <laughs> in the form of an elephant. So yeah, he's really cool. It's got like this little slit on the top here. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if it's for toothpicks or I guess whatever you want to put it as, but whatnot or yard sale, baby. Who doesn't <laughs> want a little pack of derm in their life? <laughs> I do. All right, y'all, we got some affliction. Oh yeah. We love a good affliction. This one is very like racing vibes. So here's what that one kind of looks like. It's got a backside as well. Look at those big checkered that racing dope. flags. This one appears to be in really good shape as well. It's also kind of like a Henley style, which is different. I don't usually find them like that. So love to see it. I grabbed this Kendama thing. Is that what you call these? I think so. One of the bin boys was playing with this the whole time. I thought it was his. I guess it's not. This is from the brand Super Kendama. So <laughs> is that a thing? 
I, I don't know. I like the little pink face. I thought might as well get really good at this so I can impress all the boys. Uh, just kidding, but maybe. We'll see. Uh, this will either go on one not or I'm sure this will probably be a dollar to five in the yard sale. Pretty sick. Pretty sick, not gonna lie. This one is a cute little Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. I always be selling t-shirts on whatnot for pretty cheap and I pick up all the ones that have like fan bases. So like obviously, I mean, I like Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, but anything that's like, you know, relatively cute, like Disney or like Mickey Mouse, stuff like this. Um, there's usually somebody who's into that thing and if it's cheap enough, they'll want it. So I grabbed this one and it's a plus size as well. So I always try to find the cute plus size stuff when I can. It's just a lot harder to find. So do try to carry a wide range of options though. Bowser in the bag. Woo! I got a Bowser in a bag, brand new from Mackie Donald's. It is a promo from the Super Mario Bros. movie, and I think that is a very recent thing. There's something just so satisfying about finding a Happy Meal toy still in the bag. Oh yeah. Somebody's bratty kid did not want this. Maybe it was a double or something. But yeah, that I'm sure will be maybe a giveaway item or something that sells for like a dollar on whatnot. Something like that. Okay, this one I was a little on the fence about getting because it does have some pilling and it did have kind of like a little dirty spot over here, but I did put it through the wash and it does look a a little better already yeah. honestly like I don't know if you remember what it looked like yesterday but slightly yeah it looked a little rough yesterday but honestly that little wash that I gave it um, helped a lot and I'm gonna depill it this is a torrid cardigan size zero so I think that's like their version of an XL if I'm not mistaken I think one would be 1x two is 2x um, etc so I figured somebody would want this um, I have a lot of people and whatnot who obviously are very into the goth clothes so I try to find as much as I can I believe this is my last item and it's a banger <laughs> It's the letter S. <laughs> F29. I'm not sure what the 29 is for. I don't believe this is from the year 1929, but who knows. These are good just for like, you know, you want to slap it on an old jacket, old cardigan or something. I feel like these are always in style on the vintage community. So I thought I'd pick it up, put it in a flea market or put it on a jacket myself or something for some extra style. Um, if you guys hear a weird grunting slash snore sound, Michi's sleeping in the corner. All right. <laughs> Next, I have another torrid piece. This one is kind of like a little workout top. And this was, again, in that same pile with all the other skull things. So whoever this person was, I really thank them because it really made my day. This one is also a size zero. So I believe that's an XL and just like a really cool one. Like as far as athletic shirts go, super cute. All right, all we have left is my stuff. So if you catch Nico staring, um, it's not his fault. What's he supposed to do? This next one I have is also Affliction. This one is gray with some really cool lace-up sides. And this one also has the Affliction back prints on the front. Pretty dope. Unique little textures and details all throughout. I also found a whole bin pretty much full of like various sneakers and a few of them were coach. I grabbed a couple of them, but most of them were pretty beat up except for these ones. And these are the, I think it's called Poppy or whatever collection, which I've seen like Poppy bags before at like savers and some of them go for like decent money so i just figured i'd grab these because they are so clean and they're a little bit more unique of like a print than some of the other ones that i could have grabbed and then i also i think this is my last pair of shoes that i got but um nico found these ones and they are really nice material it's got like the i assume this is real pony hair but it could be faux feels like it. and then like the leather i'm sure on this part. I'm not sure what brand these are. Yeah, they do look nice. It says made in Italy. Um, these are a size eight and a half. They have a cool like shape and everything and they look very like effortlessly posh. So definitely glad that we got those. I thought this scarf was really cute. Um, I think one of the bin bros actually threw this back. It's a really cute like little butterfly shawl and it's got fringe and it's got glitter. It's super pretty, very fairy core. So I thought that would be something somebody would want and what are you so it's just a cool little like Mogoth t-shirt i honestly have never heard of this brand aqua something six is that the roman numerals for six 
Yeah. So just a cool little like, you know, gray shirt. It's got some like velvet details. These are very on trend, obviously on Depop, but I sell them now on whatnot as well. This tank top is really cute and very like dainty coquette. This one is from Wonderbra. But like, look how freaking cute this is. I get asked a lot for like camis and stuff and people on whatnot actually go crazy for lingerie. So definitely I try to grab those when I see a good one. This also I literally grabbed because it reminded me of in our new fruits magazines that we just picked up there was a girl wearing a sleep mask on her head like this <laughs> and i thought nice. it was so cute so i was like oh my god this like this is perfect like it's so go. cute yeah it's like a little hair accessory in my opinion so, so it's coming in clutch already it is it's giving <laughs> me so much inspiration like i'm so excited that we grabbed those so yeah i thought that was fun i really don't know what it is but that's how i'm gonna use it and you know i am gonna pop back in for a second because there's one thing i forgot which is like the first thing that I found. <laughs> These are really damn clean, honestly. These Vans, high tops, skate highs. They are a men's seven and a half. Just so clean. I will bring these, I'm sure, to Buffalo Exchange because I don't really want to sell shoes on Depop. It just feels weird to me. It sucks. But yeah, look at how clean. If It's like, I would say that they were never used besides the bottom. They must have just realized this wasn't their size and donated it. So come on. I found this really sad Basset Hound Beanie oh. Baby and I thought that he looked too sad to leave there. So I grabbed him. His name is Tracker. He He's will trusty. be some sort of freebie or a bag plush or something. I found this skirt, which I thought was pretty fun. Um, I need to look up what this brand is because it looks kind of like it could be anthropology-esque, you know, like just from the look of it. Anthropology Apology sells so many different brands, it's hard to say, but this one's called London Jean size six. And just like a cool little party skirt. Um, this is a little tank top from Day Trip. Day Trip was sold at Buckle and this one is covered in sequins. I'm pretty sure there's like a rose print on this. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but yeah. And then the back is like striped. Um, this is super like, yeah, mid 2000s vibes. So I just thought I'd grab that and sell it for pretty cheap. I found this really cute um, like fairy core vest type thing. And this one is from Roz and Ally. I've had this brand before and I think I've had pretty similar items like in how this like kind of crochet vibe is. So this one's kind of hard to show off, but um, there's kind of the gist of it. It's got really cool details and this would be really, really cute layered with like some sleeves underneath of it. And you know, just like fairy core vibes. This was one of the first items I found also right when we walk in it does have some stains so i might just give this away i'm kind of undecided but it's really cute it's like a very like emo tinkerbell because it's got like the checkerboard and all that kind of stuff like this font is very like blink 182-esque i feel so i was like i better grab that because i know somebody's gonna really like it not sure if there's a date on here at all, but it looks very like 2009-ish. So I was like, that's pretty cute. And I also found this really cute little bralette, which I love the color scheme of this one. So dainty and precious. It's like green and like a really nice turquoise. And this is from Adore Me. Boop. Here's another of the skull scarves, which again was in that same pile with all the other things. So this one is again, really gauzy and thin. It's got all over skull print. Again, you could definitely use this in your hair or on a purse, tablecloth, whatever you like. All right, next I found one of these really cute American Eagle cable knit sweaters. These are super cute and trendy, size medium. It's nice and long and it's got the little um, logo thingy right there at the bottom. I like how long the sleeves are on those sweaters, kind of just like a fun detail. And I got these little sequin booty shorts. Um, I think this is Forever 21, size small. Um, I'm hoping this is an adult small. I think, I think so. They're really stretchy. Cause I was like, well, I would wear them. I might, I might try them on, we'll see. But yeah, I thought those were cute. I'm probably gonna give this away. It's just like a little coach handbag. I tend to give away a lot of purses during my shows. And this one I think is in like decent shape. It's just got a couple like discolorations. I just don't know enough about coach stuff to even care to try to see if they're real or not. I'm just like, let's get them out of here. Cause I really don't care. 
It's just not my thing. And I found quite a few really cute scarves this time around too. Like I found this really thin little black one and it's got really cute like blue and purple and green kind of like little poofs in it. These are very, very Fruits Magazine. So I always grab the really cute scarves when I see them and they do sell for me pretty well and whatnot. And Nico found these Angels jeans, which these are a little thrashed, but I feel like they're thrashed in like the best way. So here's the tag on that one. We love that Angels tag when it comes to denim. Not sure if they were made like this or if they're just a little worn through, but as you can see, there is some wear up here. And there is also this one down by the butt cheek, but nowadays some pants are just made to look like that. So it's really hard to say. There's not a lot of drag at the bottoms either, which is really good. And these just have a really nice shape to them. They've got that like flare at the bottom. Try to show them off. There we go. It's got a really cool wash. So those are a great find for sure. Here's a couple more scarves that I found. I was especially excited about this one. I'm probably gonna keep this one for a while. It's nice and long and I really love the colors of it. It's like super sparkly and just like kind of like fairy core meets fruits magazine vibes. Super cute. Love that one a lot. And then I found this one, which is pretty similar. This is one of those magic scarfs. It's like a beige and brown colorway. And then I also found this green one. Oh my God, this matches my sweater yeah. like insane right now. I've actually never seen one of these in this bright like green shade. So I was pretty excited about that. Nico found this, which is a super cute little Y2K tank top. This is from the brand M Rina. I actually just saw this exact tank top at Buffalo Exchange the other day in like a mint green colorway. And they had it priced at like $13. And if it was a little lower, I might have bought it literally just to flip because I know people are really into this style right now. So I'm pretty excited to find this brown one. Um, thank you, baby, yeah. for passing this one my way. I'm surprised that's like a one size. Oh, I know, right? Most... These are very stretchy is the thing. So I believe it, I guess. I found this jacket, which I assume is real leather. Okay. Definitely looks like it. Gallery is a nice brand. Yeah, 100% genuine leather on the tag. And yeah, this is gallery. It has lots of fringe, has fringe along the back and it's got all up and down the arms. So I thought this was a pretty good pickup for sure. It doesn't even smell disgusting. Usually that's what happens when I find a really good jacket that's like leather is it smells so gross that I can't even bear to bring it home. This one's in really good shape, so. Nice soft leather. Yeah, it is soft, it's flexible. It's a good one. We found this cute little denim skirt. This is somehow from Cabela's Casuals. I don't know, I just think that's surprising. This is a pretty cool little denim skirt though. Like the details are pretty dope. Here's the back. So it's kind of just like almost like a faux pleat design. Denim skirts are also pretty trendy right now. I would say maxi ones especially, but this one is really cute. This is just a little ASOS piece, but I figured if nobody wants this on whatnot that Buffalo Exchange might. It's pretty cool. It's like a faux leather with like this really, you know, painted on floral design. Very springtime. Very springtime. There's another really cool scarf I found. This one is like a paneled kind of like granny square with like faux suede kind of throughout. Really interesting and thin and flimsy and again just like really easy to like accessorize with if you're going for a fruits magazine type vibe and then nico found this one which i think we were both like kind of on the fence about but like i determined that somebody would love this yeah. even though it's not my thing like somebody would like go crazy for this i feel it's kind of like a chenille on like a normal probably cotton sweater zip up it's got a collar and it's vintage Alfred Dunner. So some people are really into Alfred Dunner, honestly, but it's giving fairy core and it's also giving a little bit of art teacher. It's giving granny core. So just right for someone for sure. This one is so cute. This is like really vintage, I assume. Looks like it. The tag's been cut out, but it is a little embroidered Smurf on a dusty baby blue sweatshirt. That is super cute. So that's one of the few like vintage, vintage pieces I think I got. And then this guy, it is new with tags and it's velvet. It's a XXXL and so that's good. Very hard to find that size honestly in cute stuff. This one retailed $79 and it's gorgeous. It's velvet. Cute little layering piece. It's very like elegant Abercrombie and Fitch. Here is another new with tags item. This one is from American Eagle. This one retailed $50. Here's the tag on that guy. This one is kind of like 
like Parisian chic, I would say. It's a dress and it's animal print, but just from the like off the shoulder vibe, this would be a really good one also to take to Buffalo Exchange if nobody wanted it on whatnot. Here's those pants I was talking about being from the brand Star. Look how freaking Y2K this tag is, y'all. That is so cute. And these are amazing, honestly. Like these camo cargo kind of style pants just with like insanely cute pockets. Look at those. And then on the back side as well, these are adorable. I love these so much. Like these I would easily price at like $50 on Depop. So yeah, it's hard to let some of this stuff go. It's so cute. This is a very fairy core gremlin core dress. This thing is crazy. Like here's the bottom. You can kind of see those like cool little like lettuce hem designs and then it's also on the sleeve this one is really hard to show what it looks like but yeah it's a dress um it's super cool it's a very dark forest green and just like pretty insane honestly i've never really seen anything like this so i think somebody's gonna really like that this is another y2k piece i was very excited to find this is like a little past the season that i would have ideally liked to have found it now but still really cute the brand is glimmer by jj J basics it's a little white snow bunny vest and it's got this super soft plush hood and it has these kind of like tusk clasps which is really cute really easy to layer these with again like a nice long sleeve underneath i was really excited when i saw this little font sticking out of a bin because i was like oh i know what that is and it is a kim possible beach towel yeah, yeah. so freaking cool I love a good beach towel, you guys. Like we kind of have like a collection of yeah. beach towels and I actually have like a really cute Bratz one that we got at the bins once. This one's actually in really good shape too. Just says it's from the Disney store. But yeah, super cute. Um, I will be selling that one, but I love it very much. Okay, here's a couple more scarves. This one is really fun, very colorful, purpley pink and blue, just like a nice thin little guy. It's like gonna it was <laughs> fucking stuck on strangle your me, I know. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered doing that. I gotta take it off right away to get through all this stuff. Okay, this one's new with tags. It says Judith McGran and friends. Oh, and the friends. Yep, the whole gang. This one is polka dot. It's got these cool little like ridges on the sides. Again, very Fruits magazine -y vibes. And then this may or may not be the last scarf I got. I really am not even sure, but this one is super colorful and fun. It's a little thicker and it's nice and long. These are some super cute denim from the brand Ashley. This is another really iconic tag. Look at that tag. We love to see it. This is the cutest part of these, this back pocket. Oh my God, is that not so precious? Like the heart and the roses, so cute. These are like biker short kind of style. So that's kind of fun. You don't usually see a lot of these. So I don't know, I'm kind of a big fan. These are a little too big for me. Otherwise I might keep these too for a little bit. So hope somebody enjoys them. I found this really nice little kind of like trench jacket. Um, I don't know anything about this brand. I might have to like look this up and try to take a peek cause I've honestly never heard of it before. But this is a really nice little like denim kind of like trench vibe. It almost looks like something that like BB would make. So that's kind of what I assumed it was gonna be when I saw it, but yeah, just like a really sturdy, nice, it's very like 90s vibes, I feel like, but it does seem modern. And then speaking of BB, Nico found me these velour track pants and they have this lovely BB spell out down the leg down here. Those are really, really cute, major juicy couture vibes with these. And they are a size 3X. That is really hard to find, you guys. Yeah. So that's really exciting. I found this really cute little faux fur vest. This is from the brand Me Jane. And it's just like a little cutie pie. Again, really fun to layer with these with some long sleeves underneath. Nico found me this little red beret. It appears to be wool, as most berets are. I found this really cute Dora the Explorer pillowcase which I think is from 2002, I'm pretty sure it said, which totally adds up. I remember seeing these when I was little. That's super cute. This is another little like boho fairy core type piece from Apartment 9. Sometimes Apartment 9 just slaps. This one has really cool beadwork. Great for summertime with that little like ruffle at the bottom. This guy is so freaking cute. And then this is another new at tags item. This is from Maggie Barnes. It's a size 1X. 
It retailed $54 is the tag. I'm not familiar with this brand whatsoever, but it's just a really simple, nice black skirt. I think it's a maxi. So I had to grab that, of course, because why not? And here's another new with tags item. I tend to pick things that are new with tags up when they're at least remotely cute. I mean, this one is pretty cute. I think it's a jumpsuit. And again, this is a 1X. So I found quite a bit of plus size stuff this time around, which is really exciting. You don't always get so lucky. So I don't know what this tie is for or where it goes, but it's some sort of glittery pantsuit situation. So that is up for interpretation because I really don't know what that's for, for sure. I assume that it can go up pretty high, but I also have no idea. It could just be a belt. Yeah. So hard to say, but I thought those were fun. Okay, this one is a dress by Candies. This tag is all topsy-turvy in here because I just washed this one. But here is the brand on that. It's just a cute little black dress with these adorable little ruffles on the sleeves. I love finding candy stuff. Super fun little Y2K brand. And this guy is another plus size piece. This is from Maurice's. It is a big fat butterfly and it's got this really cool crochet butterfly on the back as well. And it's covered in bling. So we love to see that. And this is a size one. So like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure that's referring to a 1X because I have seen quite a few plus size Maurice's pieces at this point and the measurements do usually equate to that. I have another new tags piece. This one is silk. So that's pretty exciting. This is from Worthington Petite. And here is all the good stuff that that one came with. Um, but yeah, 100% silk. It's a really fun purple color and it has these really cool buttons in the middle. The buttons are super sparkly and it even comes with an extra button. This is such a unique little piece and it's like definitely vintage. Dead stock with the tags. It's just gem after gem. It is. It's kind of insane. This next one is a Gilligan O'Malley. Here's the tag on that guy. This is really a cute one. I'm not even sure like if this is like a two-piece kind of situation or if this is just how it comes because I feel like this would be you know perfect with like some matching like booty shorts which I'm sure they sell but this appears to just be a little top and it has the most gorgeous eyelash lace kind of situation. Not even eyelash lace it's just like normal lace but um, just like a really flattering top just like super sexy and cute and this one I just thought was cute because it's a red and black color scheme so it's kind of gothy a little emo. It's from Brave Soul. It's a zebra print. Just a fun little sweater. I found these right as we were leaving and it looks like somebody decided to throw them back. Maybe because there is like a little hole here, but I thought they were good enough to grab. These are a Rock Revival size 31. Rock Revivals you can get a lot of money for. So usually a lot of people at the bins try to grab these whenever they can. I had found one the same day that were more of like a skinny style and I actually gave them to the guy who gave me that cross purse oh, nice. because I wanted to give him some sort of thank you. So he happily took those and then later I found these. So it all works out. I found this cute little like not quite a slip dress but not quite a camisole. I don't know it's like fully lace. It's got that cute little bow in the middle. So sort of like a slip just like a little shorter and this one is from Smart and Sexy. There is the tag on that one. I am not really familiar with that, but Smart and sexy. it is cute. It is very, very cute. I found this cute little Eeyore plush because one of my whatnot buyers told me that they are interested in Winnie the Pooh plushies. So I was like, well, I'll see if they just want him. So if they don't, I'll give him to somebody else. But I had to grab him because he's really cute. I mean, he looks extra depressed here as well, which I think is part of the reason why I also had to grab it because you just don't want to leave them there, you know? It's just sad. I found this really cute cardigan. I've probably abused the word cute hardcore during this haul but I just can't help it you guys. Everything is just iconic. This is from the brand Jack which I remember buying Jack items from JCPenney in the mid 2000s or the early 2000s too. Um, so this one it's got like a nice fur trim. Faux fur. It's kind of got like a little earth core vibe about it. It's also got nice long sleeves you can cuff so Super cute. We were using this to cover my cart, but I decided it was actually pretty cute and it's from Coach. You like the color of it. Yeah. Nico just grabbed this to cover my cart, um, but yeah, it's a Coach scarf and it's animal print. It's really cute actually. So we took that home. This one is kind of like Victorian coquette vibes. And this is from the brand E and M. I am not familiar with that brand, but it looks kind of just like boutique-y. Super cute details on this one. It's got that little, um, this little ribbon right here 
here you can tie into a bow. So yeah, that's how that looks and that is like really cute. Like that makes all the difference, that little bow right there. So love that one. This I grabbed just because it was new with tags and I'm gonna see if Buffalo Exchange wants it. Cause I'm sure they're gonna be looking for men's like summer shirts soon. It's just a little Paxson piece. And this one retailed like $17. It looks like 17 on sale, originally 25. It's like crisp and clean, you know? So I was like, they'll probably want that soon. Cause they're probably gonna start buying for summer soon. Here's another belt. This one is heart print with like a little chain. So that guy is really cool and unique. I don't find belts like this very often if ever so thought that was really cool this is a pretty like whimsy goth situation it's got crazy sleeves this is from the brand yeah wow <laughs> yeah. Really yeah hold that sleeve out. up look at this sleeve That's you guys insane. i had no idea it was like that isn't this berserk like <laughs> that is wild that is like this is whimsy goth the tag says lucky but it's not like you know the lucky brand this clearly looks like some like little boutique -y situation but yeah how fun is that pretty crazy kudos to nico for finding that one it is witchy it is very witchy these are some black and pink cargo pants i'm not sure if these are for children or not but it says good and sheer size medium it could be kid size i honestly have no idea they look like they would maybe fit me though they have cool details um like i don't know if you guys can see those little pops of pink off to the side here that one is extra fun these are kind of giving um you know like skater girl vibes so i thought i would for sure grab those here's another new tags piece Woohoo! this one was originally it says like 70 dollars, but it's from the rack so it was ten dollars at the rack wow which is Great quite value. a bargain it's a jumpsuit by the brand lace or leaf i'm not sure how, how to pronounce this one i've had this brand before but i don't usually pick it up to resell it's a big it's jumpsuit. A jumpsuit it's actually size small but yeah it's a big jumpsuit <laughs> And this one I was thinking would be again good to just take to Buffalo Exchange potentially um, if nobody wants it on whatnot. This one is pretty cute. It's very like cottage core, coquette. It is an exhilaration piece and it's like so cute. Like this little like lace situation and like the little tears on it. Just like a really fun little piece for summer. I found another faux fur trim cardigan. This one is from Old Navy. This one is a forest green. It has a belt and this gorgeous little faux fur trim. It's like kind of similar to the other one. Here is another new tags piece. This one is from Zara, Zara Basic. This was apparently originally about $90, which is kind of insane. But I mean, I guess Zara pricing is kind of like that. I just forget because I'm like never in there. But this is like a really bright pink tweed kind of like blazer. So this would be a good one potentially for like a Buffalo Exchange or something, just because it's not really the style of anyone that I'm certain of in whatnot, but it would be good for somewhere. So I was like, I better grab that one just in case. It's giving country club for sure. This one I actually found also last week a different size i think this one's a large i think the other one was like an xl maybe but it's a really cute little skull sweater so whoever missed out on this one last time whoever got outbid hopefully they have another chance to get it this time now because i know more than one person wanted it so that's kind of cool and here is a nice thick little cardigan. I thought this tag was really cool. I don't know what era this is for sure because it could be like 2000s but it also could be like older than that. It says curio and it's a size small. It's really thick and heavy duty. It's kind of like a cable knit and it's got these big chunky buttons too. So cute. This is one of those uh, situations I was talking about where like it definitely has a fan base and it's just cute enough. So I grabbed this Looney Tunes crop top. The colors are adorable and it's in really good shape. Like it looks like hardly worn. So I was like I better grab that one. I'm sure somebody's gonna really like that here's another fairy goth moment this one can't remember if i saw a tag or not as far as where this one is from it looks like the tag is cut out on the inside so that's too bad and they cut it really close to the seam too which sucks but yeah this one is pretty cute it's got some bling in the middle and it's got that little peasant like top kind of like tie and neckline so that one's really cute i saw this um bisu bisu strap in a bin and I was like, whatever that is, I want it. I don't know, I just like Bisu Bisu stuff. It's like a really cute little Y2K brand. This is kind of like a formal dress and it's black. It's like a little gothy. It has these kind of like rosette style um, florals on the strap. So I thought that was kind of cool. 
and that somebody will probably want this. It looks like Goodwill um, tried to get 15 for this and that is why I ended up at the outlet. So that one still actually has the tag on it and there is that Bisu Bisu tag. Nico found me a couple little camis. This one is a baby pink from Mosimo. And then we also have the same tank top in this cream shade. And you can see this cute little lace trim, which is a little different than some of the other camis I've had in the past. I thought that was a fun little detail. People always want camis. And then I found this little lace lingerie slip situation as well. This one has a really like interesting neckline. Like it's got like this little piece up here. So it's kind of like a up to the neck style. And then here's the back. So that's like different. I don't usually see them in that style. And I'm not sure where this one is from. Oh, there it is. Victoria's Secret. There she is. Cute. This is kind of random, but I thought it was just so cute. And it's very clear to me that this would be a great blanket for a dog to have in like a kennel. It's precious moments and it's all over print of the dog characters. And it's just like a really precious little blanket. So I threw it through the wash. It smells really good. And I hope that somebody will want that because I know some people are really into precious moments stuff. And a lot of the time, the stuff that I see, it's just not very like good stuff. Like it's like either like a really hit or miss figurine or like a doll or something. But like this kind of stuff, I really like finding. This is a really fun little lace black Y2K skirt. It has a paper tag. I'm actually not very familiar with this brand. It says Julie's Closet. So that's pretty cool though, that little tag. And then there's the paper one. It's adorable. It has this little tie even. I freaking love it. Honestly, it's gonna be so hard to like price this stuff tonight on the spot because yeah. it's so cute. Like it's always hard for me to be like, okay, well, what's the bare minimum I would let yeah. it go for? Knowing that like people are probably gonna bid it up, but it might not. You never know. <laughs> it's so hard. It just be one bid and that's it. Ah! This is a fun little yellow like cami chemise situation. It's like really interesting shape. This is a Fredericks of Hollywood one that Nico found. So here's the tag on that guy. But yeah, this is a really just interesting like yeah. situation. I know, I was like, I know that you kind of had to like do something weird to make it look. Yeah. I think it kind of crisscrosses mm -hmm. and then it like sits like that on your back. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's kind of like this. And it crisscrosses in the back, so you don't have to tie it or do anything like <laughs> yeah. that to it. It's Super a little confusing. Fun. Yeah. But I just like myself, I never understand that type of stuff yeah. when I've tried to wear it. Oh well, no, I myself. could like I could see you screaming oh putting my God, that yeah. thing on. This is a really cool denim skirt from Alfred Donner. It's got beading kind of like throughout on some of these little tiers. And this one seems like it's a larger size too. The tag is pretty worn away, so I can't read it unfortunately, but it's got lots of stretch. Looks like at least a 1X in my opinion. So <laughs> so that should be good for someone as well. This is a really fun like vintage fairy core type piece. And I got some cute little tops here and another scarf. Would you look at that? Another one. This one is brown with some fringe at the bottom. And this one is also a little thicker than some of the other ones I found. I found this little zebra like green and black tube top. I'm so into tube tops right now. This one's more like a bandeau actually, but I have been prowling for like Y2K tube tops lately. And I thought this one was fun. It's from Kathy and it's very like scene queen. So I love it. This one I picked up with some of my whatnot regulars in mind, especially Liana. She usually grabs all my band tees, I swear. So somebody's gonna want this, I know. It's just a little modern Rolling Stones piece. You can tell obviously by that screen printed tag, but it's really cute and it's got a really cozy vibe about it. This is also a true vintage one and I know somebody's gonna <laughs> want this. It has this little embroidered feline face. Little tiny face. Right smack in the middle. <laughs> Just a little cutie pie. This is the softest t-shirt too. Oh, like, yeah. isn't that crazy? It's nice. Yeah. Someone will like that. Good material. Somebody cut the tag out, of course, but it's a cat shirt. This one is a little Michael Kors t-shirt. I don't know why I bother picking up Michael Kors half the time. Cause like, I'm not the retail value is good. But like, I always end up selling this stuff for so freaking cheap or end up taking it to Buffalo Exchange and half the time they don't even want it. So I don't know. I just know that it's like higher retail value and it costed me probably like 50 cents. So I guess that is the reasoning yeah. behind it, but not really my thing. Just kind of, you know, 
kind of like coach. I'm like, whatever. Here's another really cute duster cardigan. This one is giving boho cuteness for sure. It's from the brand J Jill. So there is the tag on that one. This is so cozy and long and dope. I like the little felt buttons. Yeah, super cute. It's got like, yeah, like a little textured feel to it. So that's fun. Oh my God, another scarf. <laughs> This one's an infinity scarf, but it's black faux fur. Really cute. Infinity scarves aren't super trendy right now, but they certainly were in the 2010s and like 2011, 12. So I assume they'll come back soon. That's the next. That's like wave. what's supposed to be coming back right now, <laughs> technically. Um, so I, I don't know. I think it, I think this one's cute enough. Like there's, there's plenty of infinity scarves that I wouldn't look twice at, but this one, I was like, let's, let's do it. Another scarf. <sighs> This one is new with tags. I was hesitant about picking this one up, but I decided it was the tag situation that made it worthwhile. And I could always just like, you know, give these away in giveaways too. This one is just like super boho and it's like kind of like suburban almost. Just not the most trendy scarf I've ever seen, but this was something, this like pattern was very on trend probably like five or six years ago, I would say. So just, you know, new with tags, gotta grab it. These are really cool. These are vintage trouser pants from Chico's. They're a size zero. These are just like very like unique and like kind of like maximalist vibes. It's got this velvet kind of like, um, you know, those like scarf prints and stuff. It's got that kind of just like throughout and it's like really just interesting. Like it's giving like Gucci runway kind of. So I thought I'm definitely grabbing those. Nico found me this, which is a cute little Foo Fighters halter top. Yeah, it's always cool to find band stuff that's not just a t-shirt. Definitely. This is really cute. Like, it has the energy of early 2000s. And this tag makes it seem like it is. Because look at this tag, you guys. Like, I honestly don't know. But yeah, look how, like, papery and crazy this tag is. Unfortunately, I can't tell, like, what brand this ever was or anything about it. But it looks pretty old. Like, you know, 2000s era. So that is cool. Here's another new tags item. And this one retailed $138. I remember saying to Nico, one day you're a $138 blazer, the next day you're at the bins. It's crazy. It's Cycle just like a life. simple little black express design studio piece. That would be a really good one for potentially Buffalo Exchange. Like it's not like the trendiest style, but it's something that like a lot of people would maybe have in their closet. So it's like a nice basic. Here is, I think maybe the last skull scarf that was from <laughs> that bunch. This one's a little different cause it's like a really bright neon kind of like peach color over white, but it's got that same like thin texture and you could again do tons of different stuff with those. This one also has the tags. This is from Old Navy, retailed $35. There is the tag. This one, I don't even remember what it looks like. It's a dress. Okay, it's like a pink. Okay plaid kind of like little dress situation. So that's kind of fun for summertime. That'd be another one that I would probably bring to Buffalo Exchange if nobody wants it and whatnot. I found this kind of thrashed a little bit. It just has like a little bit of like a blue stain kind of on it over here. It's like a DC Mongothy little skater t-shirt. Thought that was pretty cool. And here is the logo-y tag situation on that one. These pants have super cute um, back pockets. They are from ZCO jeans and they're a size 18. So a little on the plus side, which is again, good. Here's the pockets and here is the shape. They have a pretty nice leg shape and they have a pretty nice wash as well. I always like the ones that have that really light wash in the middle and darker on the sides. I think those look really nice. This is kind of random, but again, it was, <laughs> it was new with tags. It's a baby gap denim overall and it's new with tags and it's just like kind of cute, you know? It's a styling baby. Yeah. So if nobody wants this on whatnot for their baby, I'm going to put it in the yard sale because again, I was like, well, what if that did end up in the landfill? How sad would that be? Okay. This one is really cool. I just like that. It's kind of like a like trashy, like graffiti kind of like style. I think this is either a skirt or a strapless dress. I'm honestly not even fully sure because I haven't like held it up, but it's a size XL and here's the tag. I'm very unfamiliar with this tag. I've never seen it in my life, but it says love all over it. It's really, really cute. So it does come up to me this far. So I think this is a strapless dress. That's really cool. I love this one. If this was my size, I'd probably wear it a couple times. Adorable. Here's another new with tags. 
This one is from TJ Maxx, but the brand is called Villa Milcamis? Milano? Villa Milano. Villa Milano? <laughs> and then it says Lush on this tag. There's a lot of tags going on here. <laughs> so here's the full situation. <laughs> hella tags, hella new. It has bling on the bottom and it has bling on the sleeves. So I thought that was pretty fun and can't go wrong with the tags. Found this little denim skirt from Sam Edelman and it's kind of cool. Sam Edelman, you know, they usually make shoes and it's kind of like a spendier-ish shoe line. So I was like, well, this is a pretty cute little denim skirt. So I thought I'd grab that. And then I also got this new with tags white oh, skirt. Mama from the brand Refuge. And I actually have these same like Refuge white brand, whatever. It's like skinny jeans and they're kind of like ripped. Those also, I have the tags on them. I got them from a past haul, but I think this is a better piece cause it's a skirt and people are always looking for skirts. Here's the tag on that one. This retailed about 20 bucks. This one is from Free People. I pretty much find a little Free People every time I go to the bins. I can't tell if this is like a little flaw or something. There's like a little white mark on the back of it kind of. Hard to say, cause it kind of has that look. But yeah, it's the We The Free, which is one of the like cheaper parts of their line, but still cute stuff for sure. I've had a lot of it in my life. So I thought I'd grab this one. And here's another Michael Kors piece. This one just has a cute little ruffle at the bottom and it's a little sweatshirt. So I was like, again, that's like light enough and cute enough that I think I'll grab it, even though it's not really my forte. I do have people on whatnot who do like the new with tag stuff and like things in that more modern realm. So those type of people might want it. Otherwise, Buffalo Exchange or yard sale. This is unfortunately the only Hello Kitty thing I found. It is a child size, but it was too cute to leave. It says girls rule, sparkly, it's cute. This is for a seven or eight year old, according to the tag. It does look pretty small. Like I honestly don't know that I'd be able to get this on. There's a chance. It'd be a three fourth sleeve. It'd be, it'd be tough. So had to get it though. I don't know if you'd be able to zip it. I know, right? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I've had this before in a different size. It's a Christopher and Banks Petite. I actually think I literally just sold this recently in Whatnot, the other one that I had. And this one still has the Goodwill tag on it too. They were trying to get seven bucks for it. Um, but it's just a little bright pink cardigan that is crochet. If I sold the other one, I have no doubts I'll sell that one. And this one also has the tags. It's kind of crazy, y'all. This is a size medium from White House Black Market, retailed $79. So there is that stuff. And the tag on that one. This is definitely something that I would bring straight to Buffalo Exchange or hopefully somebody on Whatnot will want it for cheap because it again, it's not my forte. More of like a Poshmark thing, I would say. And I found this little white cami. This one is super simple, very thin, but it is cute. So I'll probably sell this one really cheap because it just seems like not as good quality as some of the other ones I've seen. Doesn't really have that like vintage vibe to it. So pretty cheap on that one, but still a cute basic. And then Nika found this, which is a lovely real fur shawl. I actually just sold one of these on my Depop for like 30 plus shipping. But yeah, this one's really a cute color, honestly. It's like kind of like beigey, like a light kind of fur color. And I have a coat that looks pretty similar to this. So yeah. it's really cute. Okay, I just have probably like 12 things left. <laughs> 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 we'll see. Oh. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, this I got in hopes, again, that it would fit me. I honestly have no clue if it will, but it's a size eight year old. I love oh Hawaii shirt. This is reminding me of the Fruits Magazine books we just got as well. I was like, oh, this might be really cute on. So I'm gonna try, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. It might not work. If it doesn't, yard sale. Here is a cute little Mulgothy t-shirt. This one has some bling on it. I should have folded this. I just washed this one. So it's all wrinkly because it came out of the dryer. But that one, um, it looks like it came from Maurice's just judging by this little tag remnant here. Maurice's tags were always that color. So that's probably where that one came from. And this one is a 2XL Rolling Stones tank top. It's got a cheetah print tongue. I thought that was really fun. This is a little Tommy Hilfiger like jersey. Nico found this one. And I've been kind of into like the Y2K jersey stuff lately, like the varsity kind of looking things. So I thought this was pretty cute. Yeah, very unique. Yeah, definitely. Tommy Hilfiger sport. It's got like beading kind of in the middle. So it's kind of like a thick, heavy duty middle and pretty cute. I love the colorway too, like the white and the black. Perfect. This is a super cute little three quarter sleeve like Henley. This one is from Faded Glory, size small. 
Perfect little bubblegum pink colorway. Love that. I found this corset. Doesn't seem to be the probably best quality ever. Looks like it might be a fast fashion brand like Shein or something. It doesn't say Shein. So maybe, you know, something similar because it does have a little tag in there. But I uh, thought I'd grab it, you know, just like sell it for cheap. It's got the like ties and stuff and it doesn't seem to have like stains really. So at least there's that. This is the one I was talking about that was with that Vikings shirt. It was oh, folded yeah. in a stack. This one is from Helix. It's black and blue and it's got this cool little cross in the middle and it's like front and back kind of detailed. So I know somebody's gonna really like that. And then I found this size 2X glittery butterfly long sleeve. That is fairy core and whimsy goth all rolled into one. And that one is from JMG, just my size. I've never really heard of that, but that is cute. A couple people are very interested in this one I know. This is a little nautical star graphic tee and it's got some little holes and stuff. It's got some added grunge, which I think just adds to the type of shirt that this is. And I think makes it look all the cooler. The tags have been ripped out of this one, unfortunately, but you can see that there was a real tag here once upon yeah. a time. And there is no Nothing on the inside. So that one is a mystery. This is just a cute little tank top from the brand Gelate. I'm not sure to pronounce that, so sorry if I absolutely butchered that, but this is very similar to a Vivian Tam dress that I am selling currently. So I thought that was cute enough to grab. It's mesh with a little floral embroidery. This one is a cool little like layering piece. It's very gauzy and thin. I'm pretty sure this brand was also sold at Buckle called BKE or like JCPenney, I think maybe had this. But yeah, it's like a little three quarter sleeve, kind of like subversive basic style. And I found this size 2X Halloween 2 t-shirt, little graphic tee. This is really cozy looking. Nice little either sleep shirt or like wear it out kind of situation. This one is a Sturgis little three quarter ish sleeve, maybe a little longer than that, but this one's a size XL and it's got that cute little embroidery in the middle. There's the tag on that one. Y2K vibes, probably like mid 2000s. These usually have a date actually, so it might say somewhere, but <laughs> our show's about to start. 2006, it says there it right here, right here in the middle. <laughs> The 2006. <laughs> I'm trying to blast through these because we got to go live in like literally 20 minutes. Hey, the work never ends. It truly does not. <laughs> this is the brand Ariane or Arianine. I don't even know. Ariane. <laughs> It's cute. It's kind of like cottage core. It's got lace trim and it's like got this kind of like textured floral print throughout. This one is really a mystery to me. Um, these patches are like notoriously bootleg Gucci, but it's on a wild yeah. fox sweatshirt. Yeah, I thought that was weird. So I literally Googled wild fox Gucci sweatshirt just to see if it would come up and it didn't. So I'm really unsure if this is just a wild fox sweatshirt that somebody added these to or if wild fox actually made this. I couldn't find it online from that description, but I also doubt that wild fox would have called it that yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So I don't really know, but you know, wild fox is very cozy. I used to wear it all the time. So I decided to grab it. Um, it's good quality stuff, so. And expensive, technically. Usually like sweatshirts they sell, that they're like over $100. I used to wear a lot of Wild Fox, so yeah. Let's see, what is this one? <laughs> this one has a little tie at the bottom. It looks like somebody tied. This is Metal Militia. There's the tag. This is a super gauzy little burnout style tee. And yeah, somebody tied it in a knot and I washed it like that. So now it's probably gonna be stuck like that forever, but like hopefully somebody likes that it looks like that. <laughs> it's got this crazy owl and skull on the back. Just a fun little mall goth tee. This is another new with tags piece. Um, this is the boho style that I was talking about was popular maybe like six years ago. It's like the tassels, kind of like similar to that scarf. Um, so like not super trendy right now, but the fact that I had tags, I decided to grab it just in case. Um, $23 retail on the exhilaration tag. I've got like three more items, you guys. Whoa. This technically had a robe. The robe didn't have the tie, so I threw the robe back because I felt it was better just on its own at that point. But this is just a little Forever 21 piece. So I'm gonna end up selling it really cheap anyway or bringing it to Buffalo Exchange if nobody wants it on whatnot. This is a little two-piece set. And this one is from Linnea Donatella. There we go. So this one has some really fun little details like this bow in the middle. If I could get a grip on it. I think it's inside out. It okay, is. it is. There we go. So that one is really fun. And then it did come with this robe as well. So that's good. It has the tie as well. So I did decide to grab this one because it is a complete set. And last but not least, oh, 
If you made it this far, God bless you. You're a real one. You're a real one, and we appreciate you. If you watch this far, leave a comment that says walrus somewhere in your comment, and that's how I'll know you're a real one. This is a black maxi slip dress, and it doesn't appear to have a tag. It feels vintage, has a vintage vibe, but I can't prove it. It's got absolutely nothing. Super cute, sexy, goth. That's it, everybody. I hope you liked this haul. I do must say it's probably one of the best ones we've ever had, so it's kind of hard to not like this haul, whether you're into mall goth or Y2K or literally anything. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was, and don't forget to check us out on Whatnot and subscribe use my code down in the description to get $15 off your first purchase get something faux free you've got nothing to lose <laughs> it also helps me out so just know that and I appreciate you and I will see you guys later bye